Hey guys, Q here, and this is a strategy video for Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, on hard mode, how to defeat the Hell House. Uh, for equipment, Cloud is going to have a melee build mainly, so it's going to be the hard edge, uh, and either the enchanted ring or the tarot cards. I went with the tarot cards to get a little bit uh, longer poison damage, because I always forget to reapply it when it expires. Um, and then for Aerith, you're going to want to have... Uh, magic build now that means the reinforced staff or the mithril staff and of course the fury ring to increase that damage for clouds elementals uh, sorry material you want to have magnify and barrier uh, anywhere link doesn't have to be in the weapon slot uh, you're also going to give him poison because we are going to want to have the boss poisoned throughout the fight if we remember and healing he's going to be our healer uh, just in hairy situations where it's needed course we're gonna have the standard HP up HP up but we're actually gonna also go with prayer again with cloud as the healer um, and the steadfast block for those chair salvos that uh, that you can't run away from really and then you want to have lightning and elemental in your armor slot there's a certain attack that I'll explain later that he can absorb that damage and set up for Aerith to use an arrow on him um, which you'll see a couple times throughout the fight. Uh, for Aerith, you want to have one of each magic uh, type, and then of course two HP ups, two MP ups, and two magic ups. Now the thing about Hell House, I do suggest watching the whole video because there's a little bit of nuances during depending on which phase and which uh, move he's using. Basically, you're go you need to set up each magic attack by making sure he's going to stand still long enough. Uh, also, feel free to use uh, Leviathan and Bahamut uh, to get uh, in case you do get a summon in. But <clears throat> you're gonna see me mess up a little bit here in the sense that I don't always keep him poisoned or always keep barrier up. But you do want to try and do that. Uh, and it's basically gonna be running and waiting until Aerith can get a good magic attack off. And I'll show you a couple nuances to pay attention to while you're doing this to make sure that you can get it. But at the very start of the fight, you are going to want to get off a few hits to get Cloud's ATB up. Uh, throughout the fight, Hell House will um, launch out three Tonberries. Now, when he does this, do not run around. You'll see me later. Do not run around. Stand still to get all three of them landing in the same place. And as soon as the third one lands, bring up Cloud's menu and use a triple slash. And then a few more strikes to take out that last one. One of them usually survives with just a little bit of health. Now in situations like this, you can see that the Hell House... Oh, sorry. Um, next thing you want to do is cast Bio. Uh, you want to poison the Hell House. You could do Bioga, but uh, I did want to save the, uh, save the ATB a bit. Um, sorry, save the magic a bit. Uh, just for healing depending on how long the fight goes on how cooperative he is um, and then I also need to cast a barrier a magnified barrier uh, any day now there we go um, but effectively for cloud you do want to make sure that he has at least one ATB charge now you can see that the the hell house is the color of his windows uh, shows his current element type and weakness but you can verify it by opening your assess menu to verify anytime he changes elements um, the assess menu will update so you see it's green you know lightning is he's going to be weak to lightning but you just check it just in case and you can see me do that throughout the fight <clears throat> so again try and keep it uh, this is going to go by fast because you do want to be able to recognize some attacks dodge them if you can but it's really not the end of the world because um, because Aerith's magic attacks are just so powerful. And uh, it's really phase four that you really want to be on your game uh, knowing what's going on. You can see here I failed to dodge this. I think I ran into the wall instead of skirting it. Uh, but that's okay. I'm just going to cure myself. Or cure myself. And again, you can see he has no elemental here, but he's getting hurt by the poison. He's getting hurt by the uh, by Aerith. 
but you just want to keep your distance as far as you can. Uh, if he does hospitality and he gets Aerith locked in, just uh, bide your time, just wait around till he spits her back up and then heal her. Um, Chair Salvo, at these, it's uh, you do want to block it. It's only phase four that you really want to dodge him. Um, so here we go. Uh, here's another one. When he launches up here, I'm waiting for him to turn an element, but he decided not to. So I think he's going to come down and show, give me a taste of my own medicine. I don't know how that's a taste of my own medicine. But um, I think I used a cure here. Again, you just want to wait for the right attack. Wait for the right setup to use your magic attack. So eventually he will go into god mode and again uh, it's not that big a deal just don't don't bother hitting don't try and focus on the arms so this is a good one housing shock this is why we have the elemental electric as soon as he uses out uh, housing shock run closer to him and as soon as he starts moving cast aroga with um Aerith. Because uh, if you do it too early, he will walk out of the way. If you do it too late, he might get out of the way. So as soon as he starts moving on that attack, cast Aroga. Now you see here, I was running around and I was spreading apart the Conberries. And I shouldn't have done that. I should have just stood still as soon as I saw that that's what he was doing. But again, it's the same strategy. Triple Slash and... Uh, uh, few more hits on the remaining one so this was a little weird um i was trying to cast uh i could see that his windows were green and i was trying to cast lightning but verify his weakness and the lot <laughs> the assess screen wouldn't let me change targets see it's just stuck on tonberry but i can see clearly that his uh his windows are green so i it will let me still target him just not with the assess menu uh, but that's another good spot to actually get off a magic attack. Now, in these pressured states, you can come in and get a get a few hits, but um, you know, if you're not sure, don't even bother risking it. This is one of those unfortunate situations. Uh, he's in phase three now, and he used Chair Salvo Deluxe, which turns him into ice. Now, this would be perfect to hit him with a Firaga if Aerith is not too close. You're gonna see here, right here. Oh, she didn't hit him because she was too close and she hit the railing around him, which is mildly frustrating. Um, but again, that chair salvo, I'm just taking a little bit of damage. Uh, I should have applied barrier again at this point, but I went with prey. Um, house call. <clears throat> you do want to switch up your directions when he's about halfway through his jump. Oh, housing shock. Perfect. This one's going to heal Cloud. And allow Aerith to do a wind attack. Ooh, but she uh, she got she was in the path of destruction there. We're gonna try it again anyway. And I think he yeah okay. So we did get it off, but you can see um, that was just unlucky with Aerith being uh, <laughs> in the way there. Um, so this is um phase four uh and if phase four goes on for long enough he can summon sweeper and a saw buster but this is the attack that we're looking for you can launch any at the end of this attack he's going to switch to a certain element as long as you do time it right you can get off any element on him thunder is obviously the easiest because it's a guaranteed hit but uh here we got three two one and just there we go as soon as he stops Check your assess and see what he's weak to, and then launch it at him with the Yaga. <clears throat> and that'll actually uh, hit, because the delay between when he stops and when he launches away from the wall at you is long enough for any magic attack, as long as as soon as he stops is when he changes his elementals. So that's when you're going to want to check it and hit back with Aerith. Um... As you can see, I got those barriers off and those uh, uh, poison. However, at this point, I forgot he was pressured, and he stays pressured for a long time when you pressure him from <laughs> from the from the ropes. 
Uh, I probably could have just taken him out there with some physical attacks, but again, he gave us a nice housing shock. So just block it um, and and arrow. Uh, honestly, um, just playing through it a couple times, uh, it doesn't require reaction time or anything. And luckily, you know, of course, they <laughs> he announces his abilities, his attacks. So it's just about watching him, uh, keeping that poison up, uh, watching him and which attack he's doing to know when you can't you can attack with the magic and uh, keeping the poison up and the barrier up uh, he just healing when needed I obviously failed to keep the poison up and the barrier up when there are plenty of opportunity to uh, but do your best and as long as you know which attacks to set up which ones you can uh, get off an attack with and then use that assess to verify his weakness you really shouldn't have any problems. Um, this fight was so much easier once I found this strategy. When I first played this on hard mode, he was really difficult. But once I found this strategy, I'm just like, oh my god, this guy's a piece of cake. Um, coming up, I've got some real good strategies uh, that I'm real proud of, actually. Uh, let's see, what chapter is this? 9. Abzu is a piece of cake, again, with a magic build with Aerith. Uh, Ghoul. Again, piece of cake, magic build with Aerith, and um, what is it, Eligor, Eligor? Um, again, piece of cake with magic build as Aerith, so it's uh, it's going to be a fun time. Um, that's the extent of it. I uh, hope this was uh, this is the end of the video, so I'm the Strategic Gamer, and I hope it helps.